Good morning, everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Wednesday, March 13, 2024. I hope you're all doing well today and I hope you are in good spirit. And may the Lord continue to be with you. Our reading today comes to us from Genesis chapter 13, reading verses 7 to 13. And it says, And there was a strife between the herdsmen of Abram's cattle and the herdsmen of Lot's cattle. And the Canaanite and the Perizzite dwelt then in the land. And Abram said unto Lot, Let there be no strife, I pray thee, between me and thee, and between my herdsmen and thy herdsmen, for we be brethren. Is not the old land before thee? Separate thyself, I pray thee, from me. If thou wilt take the left hand, then I will go to the right. Or if thou departest to the right hand, then I will go to the left. And Lot lifted up his eyes and beheld all the plain of Jordan, that it was well watered everywhere, before the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, even as the garden of the Lord, like the land of Egypt as thou comest unto Zor. Then Lot chose him all the plain of Jordan, and Lot journeyed east, and they separate themselves the one from the other. Abram dwelt in the land of Canaan, and Lot dwelt in the cities of the plain, and pitched his tent towards Sodom. 13 and last says, But the men of Sodom were wicked and sinners before the Lord exceedingly. Amen. We give God thanks this morning for His Word. And as we continue to study and as we continue to read His Word, may we be enlightened and may we be encouraged. Now, the reading this morning points to a situation that developed between Lot and Abraham. They were family and they were very rich. But they had a problem because of the vast increase that they had and because of the amount of cattle and herd that they had and they were dwelling in the same place. The men that work for them, for Abram and for Lot, they began to fight and to quarrel. I guess they were complaining about the mixing up of the, the herd or they were stealing from each other. I don't know what the situation was that caused them to be fighting against each other. But that was the case. And so because of what was happening, Abram didn't want it to spill over between him and Lot. And so he came up with a solution to the problem. And he said to his brethren Lot, he said, Okay then, there is much land before us we have a lot of land space so we will choose and then separate ourselves from each other so that we don't have this quarreling between your workers and my workers or my servant and your servants and so the suggestion was made and of course lot agreed to it and so abram said to lot that if you go to the right then I will go to the left and if you go to the left then I will go to the right and so Lot after looking and observing the surrounding his eyes was fixed on Jordan because it had a lot of water and remember they both had a lot of herd or a lot of animals and so the animals would have been very refreshed the pastures looked very green on that side and so he thought to himself, that is the best part of the land. And so I will take that part. And it was close to the city of Sodom as well. So not only would, would he have access to all this land and all this water, but he will also have access to the city. And so he separated himself from Abram and he went to that place and pitch right in front of Sodom. Now, according to the reading, we understand that Sodom 
was a very wicked place. But before Lot went down to, to Sodom, it was not destroyed yet. And so he pitched his tent there. Now what can we take away from this lesson? I think the first thing that jumped out at me is the fact that the grass is not always greener on the other side. Because when Lot looked at all the land, he thought to himself that the best portion of the land was the, the Jordan side of the land where all the, the water was and all of that. And he went and pitched his tent there, right in front of Sodom. But as we know the story of Sodom, Sodom was a very wicked place. And remember, Lot was a Christian. Lot was a man of God. And that wasn't the best place for him to, to set up shop, so to speak. And we know the story because he pitched so close to Sodom, eventually he was drawn into Sodom, right? So he and his family got mixed up in that city to the point where angels had to come and drag them out because the Lord was very upset with Sodom and he was going to destroy Sodom. And because the Lord had him there and his family and because he was a faithful man despite the situation that he was living in. God decided to take him out and they had to drag him out. But I'm not talking about Saddam and Gomorrah this morning. I want you to think about what Abraham did. A lot of time we are placed in similar situation when we have to make a decision just like that. Now, what do you do if you were placed in that situation? Considering that you had a lot of herd or a lot of animal and so does your brethren wouldn't you want the best for yourself so that you can have what you need but that's not what abram did abram said i will give you the first choice and he never worry about whether a lot is gonna take the best and he's gonna get the what left in fact he gave him that option and so what can we take from that we must always give others the best. In fact, the Bible said that we must the Bible said that we must give of our best to others. We must do unto others as we would have them do unto us. That's basically the same thing. And so when you're giving someone something, you don't give them your worst. You don't give them your what left and the things that you don't want. Well, the things that you don't want is not so bad in the sense that maybe you buy a new pair of shoes and you're not gonna wear it or something like that you can still give it to somebody rather than throw it away but if the thing is of no use to you and the thing is shabby and just it just make you just throw in the garbage it's just good to just throw in the garbage and you take that and give to somebody then that's not very nice do you understand so let us remember that what we want for ourselves, we must also want for others. And so Abram, he could have taken the first choice and make sure that he and his family got the best. But the question remains, was Abram shortchanged? Of course not, because there's no record of him suffering because of the choice that Lot made. No, they both prospered. But the, the thing about Lot's choice is that he thought that he was getting the best or he thought that by going to Jordan's side then he was providing for himself the best of the best not understanding that the grass wasn't that green because of the situation with Sodom and so he put himself in a situation that was not favorable for him and his family and so it comes right back to we have to be careful of the choice we make. So even when you are given the choice to choose, choose right. Don't always look with your eyes. Look with your mind. Be wise because the choice that you make will affect you more than you know. And so what are the lessons here that we need to take? Make good choices and don't just look on the thing with our eyes. As they would say, use your spiritual eyes. And the second thing that we should take from this is that we must give others of the best that we have. 
Okay, so I pray that we would take the lessons from this and apply it to our own lives. May we become better in the way that we treat each other because God expects us to treat each other in the best possible way like he would treat us. May God continue to bless you and may God continue to keep you. In Jesus' name, amen.